VMware made a promise to its customers. We are going to help you run any application on any cloud. But keeping that promise is getting more complicated. Enterprises are dealing with a greater diversity of apps. Existing apps, off-the-shelf apps, and new cloud-native apps. And they're running them across more clouds, private and public. Our customers have asked us to help them contain this complexity. And we have an answer. VMware Tanzu. Tansu brings together VMware technology and expertise to help customers build modern applications, run a common Kubernetes framework across clouds, and manage their entire footprint from one point of control. Ready to build? So are we. VMware has the ecosystem and expertise to help you maintain and modernize existing apps and create cloud-native apps side by side. Where will you run those apps? Anywhere you want with VMware's Kubernetes portfolio. Kubernetes on vSphere in your data center. Kubernetes across your public clouds. Kubernetes at the edge. Always the same open source distribution with consistent cluster lifecycle management. VMware wants to make Kubernetes a utility, as available as electricity. And we're going to help you build your own power grid to light up your applications. Won't that be a lot to manage? Yes. But with Tansu Mission Control, you'll have total command of all your Kubernetes clusters and containerized applications. You'll be able to see the health of every cluster to quickly solve problems. You'll automate policy enforcement to secure your footprint. You'll unlock the full potential of Kubernetes for your organization. How will you use VMware Tansu? Architects will design a flexible footprint that addresses the needs of different apps and teams. Operators will manage an ever-growing set of clusters with security and confidence. Developers will access self-service resources so they can move with independence and speed. VMware Tansu is your path to Kubernetes and cloud-native operation. From a partner you trust to guide business transformation, you can build modern applications, run a common Kubernetes framework across clouds, and manage your entire footprint from one point of control with VMware Tanzu. For more information, please visit cloud.vmware.com slash Tanzu. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Tech Talk series. My name is Mohamed Salim. I'm a lead systems engineer at VMware. And today, I'm going to walk you through the application modernization. So before we start talking about the application modernization and how we can do it, let's first start with why we need to modernize our applications. So from most of the cases we have seen with our customers, our customers need to increase the developer's velocity. They want to release applications more frequently. They want to be able to increase the customer experience, release the features, hear the feedback from their customers, and then iterate the code to meet their requirements. There is also lots of challenges when it comes to the security. There are lots of vulnerabilities we see every day in most of the software we are dealing with. How we can address this and respond to these security vulnerabilities? There are also another trend with moving some of the workload to the cloud, but for most of the cases we have worked with our customer with. Just lifting and shifting the workload to the cloud also comes with some challenges. With that idea in mind, we thought about how we can help our customer to modernize their application. And it's a journey that has started more than 20 years ago, when VMware has started to help the customers to run the workload on the flagship product from VMware, vSphere, the best hypervisor in the market. Today, we have more than 70 million workloads running on our hypervisor. We help our customer also to move from the network proprietary protocols to what we are calling today software-defined networking. Our flagship product is the NSX, and it helped so many customers to achieve networking and security at a virtual machine level and data center level. We also help with our customer to virtualize the storage 
Today, we have vSAN and HCI products that are available today. And then we help with our customer to run what we have called the SDDC stack across all the cloud providers. For the application modernization, we started our journey with the acquisition of Hiptu, which is one of the top Kubernetes contributors. And then we acquired Bitnami. Bitnami has been known in the market for the OSS applications that are available for all the cloud users. So if you are today using AWS, Microsoft, Google, you will be able to start consume Bitnami applications there. And our acquisition of Bivital as well. Bivital brought to us a great community that loved Java. So we have Spring Framework that most of the Java developers are using. We have today more than 1.5 million projects are committed per month to the Spring Framework community. We also acquired Bivital Application Service, which is known in the market that gives highest developer velocity. We today have more than a million containers running in production. With that, our CEO announced at VMware last year the launch of VMware Tanza, our flagship product portfolio for application modernization that is built on main three pillars, build, run, and manage. The build it starts with three main products. How we can help the developers to develop their code or write their code in an automated framework. This is Spring Boot. Once the Spring Boot runs the code, it will release an artifact. How we can transform this artifact to what we are calling an OCI compliant image, or in other words, Docker image. This is Tanzo Build Service. And also, how we can start to consume and curate our own open source applications and start to using this in production. This is Tanzo Application Catalog. The run. Once you have come up with applications, it's time to run them. Our flagship product is Tanzo Kubernetes Grad, which is going to be our ubiquitous offer to run Kubernetes anywhere on the cloud or on-prem. So for vSphere admins, with vSphere 7 with Kubernetes, you can start running Kubernetes on-prem and give access to the developers from the vCenter APIs. And this also can be extended to different cloud offerings. Also, there is one product that will link between builds and run. And this is the Tanzu application service that has been formerly known as Bivital application service. Tanzu application service is giving the developer a great experience because with just a single command, CF push, your application is going from zero to production. So now you build your apps, you can run them as Kubernetes containers. Now, how are you going to achieve the day two actions? We can help you with how you're going to observe your applications. With Tenzo observability by Wavefront, you can ingest more than a million metrics per second from all your containers, from all your workloads running anywhere. You can also achieve Tanzu with Tanzu Service Mesh. You can link your containers, whether they are running on cloud or on-prem, with just a single command. You can also apply different policies to your Kubernetes clusters, but running anywhere. So we do support multi-cluster, multi-cloud, and multi-users. Think of it how you're going to manage a fleet of Kubernetes clusters you might have. This is what Tanzu Mission Control is giving you. So back to the products again, like we mentioned, I'll just give a glimpse into each of these products. So the VMware Spring Runtime is well known for all the Java developers community across the globe. And we do support the Spring uh, framework and also we have all the derivatives that comes out of the Spring community. So uh, Spring Boots to automate uh, the development framework. We do also have uh, Spring Cloud to perhaps apply kind of uh, some extra service beyond your business logic, like full tolerance, uh, like dependency injection and all of these. We do also have a Spring Data Flow that will allow you to have your programming in a more event-driven actions. Tanzo Application Catalog, this is coming from our acquisition from Bitnami. 
Remember when we mentioned that we acquired Bitnami that offers so many support for the OSS community? We have all this software now, and we do help you to go beyond this. So if you today you have your custom base image, we can help you to apply these OSS applications to the custom image of your preferences. So we're helping our customer to apply different images, apply CVEs or security vulnerability checks to these images and run them on-prem in production, regardless of the framework or the data, um, regardless of the Kubernetes clusters you would like to choose to run this application on. The Tanzu Build service, like I mentioned, it's built in a very important concept called Buildbacks. So Buildbacks is a way that it will have all the requirements uh, to run your application. So let's say today that you want to run a Docker image, you will have to have some dependencies of the application required. So if you're running Java, you will have to have Maven installed, Maven libraries and all of this. With Tanzu Build Service, it will detect the code of your application and then it will just build your application based on whatever is configured in the build bags. So if your application is based on Python, in Ruby, in, in Go, it will help you to do so. And once the build service is run, it will then release for you an image that you can then push to your image repository and start using it. The Tanzu application service. Like I mentioned, for any developer, he would like to run the code and he does not care how. This is how Tanzu application service can help you. With a single command, CF push, your application will be ready and running in production. All the tasks that you usually do to run an application, like convert the application from an artifact to an image, find a host, apply an image repository, find available, uh, find available hosts to host this application, load balancers, firewall rules, all of this, all of this is done to you in very few seconds with the command of CF push. So this is what we have seen in the market, like so many customers are running this today in production. For our run, we having Tanzu Kubernetes Great. And that's a great topic to discuss. Tanzu Kubernetes Great comes in so many flavors. There is one that will support the vSphere 7 customers. So we have vSphere 7 with Kubernetes and we are giving an amazing experience between developers and operators. As of today, with vSphere 7 with Kubernetes, we are creating a new culture where your developers and operators will be able to collaboratively working with each other. So imagine today that your operator will be able to see the namespaces and the Kubernetes objects consumed by the developer from the vCenter interface. It's a great experience. With vSphere 7 with Kubernetes, we are creating a new DevOps culture. We are helping developers and operator to have access to the same APIs, vCenter. The operator will be able to take the request from the developer, create new clusters or create new namespaces that the developer will be able to consume to run his application. That all can be done in a very uh, in the vCenter UI that most of the operators have used to use before. For versions that are not like less than vSphere 7, we do also support Tanzu Kubernetes Grid as a standalone product that you can also run to start consuming Kubernetes clusters on your vSphere. Tanzu Service Mesh. This is like I mentioned, connecting your workload anywhere. Tanzu Service Mesh will help to connect different services running on different clusters. These clusters could be on-prem, these clusters could be uh, running on the cloud. Tanzu Service Mesh will help you to connect them. Tanzu Observability. This will help you a lot in the day to action operations. If you want to want to achieve, how you can monitor your applications, how you can apply and see the different metrics of your applications, and how you can take action upon this. Tanzu Observability will be able to digest, like I mentioned, a million metric per second from different containers, from different clusters. This also can be extended to your applications. So we have kind of traceability into your applications that can be achieved with Tanzu observability. It's a great offering that we have when it comes to the day two operations. Tanzu mission control. 
our unique solution to manage different clusters across different platforms with different users. To think of it today, you might have a cluster service from one of the cloud providers, so many clusters running, some clusters are running on-prem, how you can manage all of these, how you will be able to apply different policies to all of these clusters. The solution will be Tanzu Mission Control. The idea, it will just connect to all of these clusters and start uh, applying policy enforcement to these clusters, image registry policies and all of this. It's a great product that you could try. For the rest of the talk, I would like to dig deeper into vSphere 7 with Kubernetes. With vSphere 7 with Kubernetes, we introduced two important concepts. One is called supervisor cluster, another is called guest cluster. For the supervisor cluster, we can run what we are calling native bots. Let's just understand how the architecture looks like. Supervisor cluster is having your ESXi servers running as Kubernetes worker nodes so that you can host your containers on top of them. These containers are called native bots. Native bots mean that they can directly run directly on your ESXi server and you're achieving all the flexibility and all the features, uh, especially security ones related to running any workload on ESXi, same as what you are doing with your virtual machines. The supervisor cluster is going to take care of scheduling. Some of the DRS rules will be applied. Lots of features that you have known along the way from vSphere is going to be inherited into supervisor cluster. We have another type of clusters that you can run there. Guest clusters. Guest clusters, or what we are calling Tenzo Kubernetes Great Services, this is an extension to run a complete Kubernetes cluster on your ESXi server. The idea is that we are giving you full control over the Kubernetes cluster so that the admin can start or the developer can start to run his workload on that uh, Kubernetes cluster, create namespaces, services, replica sets, deployments, all of Kubernetes objects directly on the guest cluster. There are some differences between these two offerings. And what I'm going to discuss now is just like, what are the features available in each one of this? So both of them supports the cloud native storage plugin offered by vSphere, which means that you can make sure that your bots could request persistent volumes and this will be available from the underlying storage. For the networking, for the supervisor cluster, we are using the NSX, NCP, the network container plugin or the NSX container plugin. For the guest cluster, we are using Calico as a base CNI with more support for different CNIs in the future. The solution also offers you, out of the box, a hardware registry, a secure registry for your image so that you can start upload, like pushing and pulling uh, your images directly from this private registry. With that said, I'll be moving to Q&As now. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I really appreciate you joining me today to go through the application modernization and I'm looking forward to speaking to you in future talks. Thank you a lot for joining us.